Hey, welcome back again with another free course. My name is Ali and we'll be creating this amazing kitchen in 3ds Max. This is uh, a free course just like other of the courses. So before we deep dive into this course, let me introduce myself. My name is Ali. I have been in the archivist industry for more than seven years now. Uh, you can see some of amazing renders done by me on the screen right now. And in this course, we'll be starting designing from the very scratch level. I'm assuming you know 3ds Max for a couple of weeks now. And you have a little bit, if you don't know where at all, just go to uh, my Udemy profile, see all of other free courses that's, that are gonna be very helpful for you to start. But for this course, I'm assuming you have the knowledge, a very basic knowledge of 3ds Max, not very advanced level, but a little bit basic knowledge of 3ds Max, you know how to Pen, how to uh, move through the interface and stuff like that and yeah we'll be starting from the very scratch you can see on my screen we'll be creating some of the raw sketches some dimensions and then we'll be moving forward with the modeling part modeling in 3ds max and then we'll be working with the corona render engine and we'll be creating few of the uh, amazing creatives just like this this and this so i can't wait to teach you if you have subscribed to this course i really thankful to you and i would request if you go to my udemy channel and check uh, other of the courses that are gonna help me a lot thank you very much have a good day happy learning hey so this is a little bit basic sketch of what we are going to do with the cabinets so we'll be starting with the cabinets then we'll be creating rest of the uh the whole scene but uh, yeah, let's get, let's get started right away. So these are little bit dimensions I have mentioned. So height of the cabinet, the the this part. I have a PDF here, by the way. I'll be sharing. I'll be attaching this. This helps you and and demonstrates you a lot of dimensions very clearly about the uh, the kitchen cabinets, pantry cabinets, small cabinets, medium cabinets, uh, the the bottom part, the top part. It it is gonna be very helpful. I'll be attaching this. So I have pulled out some of the dimensions from here so for example the height of uh, the cabinet the top cabinet uh, you can say the uh, the dresser units this is gonna be 90 centimeter and this part here gonna be 49 centimeter and the depth is gonna be like 30 centimeter and later we can we can decide if we want to increase or decrease so yeah let's not uh, waste more time and let's get started so I have opened 3ds max first of all I am gonna uh, customize customize unit setups and in the unit setup I'm gonna change the units to centimeter system unit centimeter all set okay and I'll be pressing alt W to maximize the screen press F for the front view and we'll start with the box okay so here we go so as we decided that this guy here should be 90 and this guy here should be 49 and for now this guy should be 30 so this is one of the uh, you can say the cabinet we are going to put it on the side I'm pressing G to hide the the grid so yeah I think 30 minus so actually this is, there are like a couple of uh, options we can do like 30 45 60 up to 60 there are the dimensions of this top cabinet but uh, let's, let's for now let's go with the this 30 option all right the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the added poly modifier from the modifier list added poly select the face here from the polygons from the selection tab select inset and let's make it two two is too much let's make it one all right press ok and extrude click on the, the little box there and let's do some minus extrude Come to the top view press f3 to see the shaded view now press w to move the face no, make sure the face is selected come to the top view and move it backwards like this all right looks pretty good to me 
yeah so the next step is I'm going to come in the top view with the help of T press shift and move it on the y-axis all right we have it here make sure it is uh, copy and we will disable the edit poly or we can delete it okay and in the box this part should be one all right so this is gonna be our door so make sure you give a little gap and if you really want to measure the gap so for example I have snap tool enabled press S it will be enabled just to double check I will right click and make sure you have vertex and point midpoint nothing else and in the options you have to enable access constraints it will let you snap while uh, while you are moving in one axis all right so once again vertex endpoint midpoint in the options enable access constraints and let's move it to here perfect and now if we select and move on the y-axis it should be negative minus 0.5 that seems uh, seems too much I think let's see I think 0.5 is okay we can see later what if, if it's needed to be reduced or whatever but let's say we select this guy and make group and we call it top cabinet all right we come to front view all right now let's let's do one more thing let's press shift and move it on the x-axis so there are a lot of ways but I'm going to pick an easy one so it is very helpful for the beginners so I'm going to make it instance and let's make it one two three four five six seven we can delete it later but for the moment we need at least uh, seven one two three four five six and seven we'll need seven one two three four five six and seven yeah so what we can do we can bring it to make sure you have the x-axis enabled bring it here and then right click move on the x-axis 0.5 all right looks good to me same here select this dude bring close and then on the x-axis 0.5 all right select again bring closer x-axis 0.5 cool I hope we are doing good job x axis 0.5 there can be multiple ways but this is I think it is very uh, you can say user friendly and it is gonna be quick as well you can array as well there are a couple of modifiers commands but this helps me one two three four five six seven okay dude we don't need you sorry bye all right, we have the top set of the cabinets ready. One thing I think we should do is I, I'm gonna group open. I am going to chamfer some of the edges. So I will press F4 to see the edges. I am going to isolate by clicking this button here. And let's close this guy, apply the edit poly modifier and select the edges so make sure to follow me uh, as I am doing because a lot of people try to do the little different style and then they, they, they really suffer so let's select these guys here or maybe these guys and these guys and then we press chamfer and select the try from here and add the value of 0.125 maybe 0.125 looks good to me so yeah all the edges are chamfered now let's double click on this guy here you can see the this guy here selected and press ring so it will help you select all the edges all the corners press chamfer again and you remember we have chamfered point one two five so you remember that we we can give the chamfer and we have only one edges do not go like this do not go crazy we need only one this will give us a good look all right and i hope now since these were like instance all the edges are automatically applied yeah that's 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 the cool thing about the instance you change in one thing and everything is changed in the rest of the the instances that's very cool 
All right. So I was thinking if we can apply or do the same with this guy as well. Group, open, select the back cupboard, isolate it. Okay, we have it here. Let's let's do the same. Let's select this guy and press ring. Or maybe first we do this guy, the front ones, and we press maybe the back as well. Or, okay, we don't need this guy right now. Just front and back. All right, chamfer, you remember we have had given the chamfer value of the point one two five all right looks good click this guy double click ring and shuffle again perfect this is gonna give you some detail which is gonna be really helpful for us all right looks perfect being honest looks really good yeah so I'm going to close this guy here and we have the perfect cabinets there all right sound good now we need to make sure a couple of things so for example we number one we need to let's group this and call it all the top cabinets all right now let's let's uh, press w to activate the gizmo tool move tool and here we can bring it to this center and we can move it later on okay let's uh, I'm, I'm moving it right now I'm moving it to, uh, to a random amount but if you come back here on the our dimensions part you can see this is 90 centimeter and this is uh, 68 centimeters and this is 71 and this is 5.5 .5 centimeter later I realized that it should not be 5 5 is too small let's make it 10 so if we sum these up we have something like 90 plus 68 plus 71.5 plus 10 this is equal to like 239 centimeter and what we were thinking to have let's let's divide it to the 30 and see how much fit is equal to this is equal to about 8 feet and we want it to be about 8.5 feet which means that uh, all right we, we can do it later but right now we can follow this dimension and if we if it's needed we can adjust a couple of things so let's copy this guy here to the bottom and see what we can do so uh, I'm going to open the cabinet group open sorry group open and let's okay now uh, let's make it copy not instance this time okay copy all right so now we have this guy here all right now at this moment we have to detach this from this group so we'll go to group this is selected group and detach all right select this guy here and group close all right so let's get down here and see uh, what are the dimensions we actually need this is like 71.5 almost so what I'm going to do I'm going to draw a rectangle of let's say come to the modifier and add the dimension of 71.5 so this is the 71.5 we can keep whatever the distance is we, we, we just need this for for the measurement okay so I'm going to bring it here and just to this point and now I'm going to group open select this guy select the vertices in the edit poly if you don't know what edit poly is how does this work I have another comprehensive tutorial the complete lecture on the edit poly that is also free you can go check that out that is gonna help you a lot so 
select this again, select the vertices and move it down. Alright, sounds good. So now our cabinet is reduced to uh, 71.5. Now we have to divide the cabinets in two parts as we can see in the in the, the final render which I shared earlier. So what we are going to do, we are going to select this guy at the door, go to the added pulley, select the vertices and or maybe like let's let's do one more thing. That is gonna help us a lot I think. Oh, no that's gonna mess us up. So let's get this guy here and move it to this point to the middle you can see the snap is being done in the middle and yeah let's see in the right view and yeah perfect this is perfectly middle so now what we are going to do we are going to move this on the y-axis for five centimeters maybe five is too much press ctrl z let's make it 2.5 all right We'll see if it is uh, enough or if it is um, needed more. So I will select this guy, I will press mirror and I will press on the Y axis and I will make it instance, okay? And now we move it that down and from the middle part we can snap it to upwards. Yeah. So you see we really wanted to have this gap but I think this is little too much. Let's reduce this guy, select the edit pulley and move it up. Now you see once I'm increasing or decreasing the other guy is also decreasing. So right click move and on the Y axis let's move it 0.5 once time more. Yeah now this is this is good I think yeah. So I am going to delete this rectangle now on the side because that was just for the for the measurement purposes but one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a plane so that doesn't look that this part doesn't look empty or, or look bad or maybe we can create a, a another like you can say a box or something like that but this should not look like the the empty inside so I'm going to create a plane inside and let's see from here to here. All right, looks good. Come to the left view, move it to press F3 to see the wireframe view and move this guy to here. So yeah. And we don't really need the four length and width segments. Perfect. All right, I will uh, close the group by selecting the object group close so now group is closed but our plane is not attached with it so I will select the plane which I just created and I will go to group attach and I will click on the group now it is attached if we move this is gonna move with the whole group alright I hope this is gonna help you now I'm going to end the isolation part I hope we have had this well aligned which is not right so let's align this and then we can move it back so I will align this on the X axis here now it's perfectly aligned now let's select the X axis activate it and move this guy to here so you can see now I'm snapping to the midpoint of the next cabinet so I will make it instance one two three four five six perfect and we have the bottom caps design ready let's move it to the down and we decided that we should be leaving this distance 10 so I'm bringing it to maximum ground level where you see the horizon line right now I am in the front view and perfect now I will right click on this group and I will move it and I will move it 10 on the y-axis all right that's good. I will explain why I moved 10 in the next lecture. 
And other thing we are going to do is we need this part to be more wider than the, the, the top one because this is like a lot of the time this is 60 centimeter the upper one was 30 but this one is gonna be like 45 or between 45 and 60 so I will go with the 45 let's select this guy okay let's do one thing let's select the rectangle same thing start the rectangle from this end and give the dimension here and let's make it like let's modify it we need 45 okay now bring that back again here and group open and let's select this guy and deselect this guy and also select these guys deselect these guys and move it okay so that's not working properly because it's selecting the whole group all right maybe we can we should be deleting and we should be doing it again so yeah let's let's do it in the okay so let's do yeah we have to do it okay we did a whole mistake well let's delete this guy here and come to the left view and select these two guys here from the front and now you see whole group is selected so alt, press alt and deselect this guy here and then move only the doors here just snap it or I don't thank you for cooperating right now let's come to the left view select the vertices and if you remember we snapped it together and then we moved it 0.5 towards minus x all right and if you remember we have had a plane there if you press f3 you will be able to see that poor little guy left alone in middle of nowhere just select this guy and bring it to forward and boom we have our cabinet ready I will press group close to close the cabinet and yeah we can delete this guy here the little little rectangle for the measurement no more needed and then we can do the same practice again like I have selected let's bring it little down then we can move it up okay I select this guy press s from the middle point I'm snapping and okay no I don't want it on the y-axis I want it on the x-axis and snap it here and make it instance 6 okay perfect we have really well aligned cabinets top and the bottom part ready so now in the middle part I would I would not like to go with the same style for the all cabinets I would say one two three these three should be or or even maybe four these four should be like like flat not not divided actually so maybe these two that's that's your choice let's let's do group open I am going to delete this guy from here from here from here and from here let's press G to hide the grid select this guy and now you will see if I change the dimensions all the boxes are gonna change so what we need to do we need to select this guy here and you come to the modify and here you will have to press make it unique okay let's make it unique select the vertices and bring it down all right little more all right little up boy perfect and let's do the same with this guy here select this guy and make it unique and now let's let's see bring it down come boy calm down perfect that's how professionals work you know on select group close group close all right we have these two cabinets in a different style and maybe we can we can remove this cabinet as well and we can so it's totally up to you if you want to randomize a little bit or if you want to keep it like 
as it is it is totally up to you I'm going to delete this guy here and going to move this guy to sorry going to press shift and copy here as an instance perfect and yeah looks good to me honestly all right next step you remember if we press G we have the distance of 10 I will explain why we we, we did give this distance in a while but let's keep doing it and let's see what else we are left with so now we have to add the gap of about 68 centimeters from the from the bottom shelf to the top shelf but before we do that I would like to add some kind of uh, you can say a little bit of detailing I would say um, but let's let's do let's move it, this guy up and we can add the shelf or we can add a different style mm, okay so basically uh, I would suggest let's uh, Mm -hmm, one second let me think on this what we can do uh, okay I'm getting confused let's try a box from top and let's select this guy here did all the guys isolate top view box and we create a box from from here to all the way to here and then we will have to increase a little bit all right and let's let's get the height let's make two and let's move it down and let's move it move it a little bit up like 0.5 as we, we did earlier in the y-axis so we maintain the gap these gaps are gonna look really cool when we we render everything all right so yeah i think that is gonna work for me but one more thing i would like to do is I am going to if you see here I am going to move this guy a little bit more I apply edit poly modifier select the vertices move it here right click move and let's move it on the x-axis maybe one yeah all right let's see how it goes select the edges these guys and these guys and select chamfer and select the try 0.125 or maybe shelf no oh, that's that's fine let's do it this one double click on this guy here select ring chamfer 0.25 all right make sure all the corners are done cool cool perfect yeah sounds good perfect all good so now if we create a rectangle of for this gap like 68 centimeters let's see how it goes rectangle select create from here let's make it small rectangle and make it like so these are basically just for, for as a helper 68 move it up and move it down all right now we have to bring our rest of the cabinets which are there let's move them down all right let's select this guy delete it we don't need it anymore and yeah maybe we we can increase it a little bit later on but let's see we decided that the height of the kitchen should be the ceiling should be eight and a half so from the ground from this ground let's create a a box maybe from the top view just for the measurement purposes and let's see 
I'm in the front view the height we decided that it should be about ceiling height should be 8.5 sorry 8.5 feet which is equal to about 260 centimeters so yeah but we need to cover that space a little bit but before we do that let's let's make one more thing which I was thinking to do actually basically I'm following this kitchen design which which right now I don't have a final render you might have seen the introductory video because that was the render of what we are doing right now but this is the design I'm following to to make this kitchen so right now we have built the top cabinets the bottom cabinets and we are going to as you know add the add this this guy here and yeah let's do it so I'm going to select this guy and put it on the top make it instance and bring it down like this move it little up all right right click move and you remember the distance 0.5 on the y-axis looks good the next step is let's select the same guy here and press shift and copy it make it copy node instance okay let's save this file all right let's make it Let's call it kitchen 25 all right let's rotate this guy press a to angle snap it will give us a accurate rotation all right we need this guy to be here no you know we need to give a gap this is fine here but right click move now this time minus x minus 0.5 all right sorry i was wrong minus 0.5 on the x-axis is good now we have the added pulley enabled select this guy here and move it down to to this part all right let's select this guy again and come on make a copy of it oh in fact what I was thinking that yeah that is fine or maybe this is actually gonna create a little bit of the gap which is gonna not disturb us so I would suggest let's do something later but right click move 0.5 on the x-axis all right uh, maybe yeah what we can do we can make the side cabinets a little bit bigger let's select this guy here and group open Just select this guy and make uh, the whole guy I think we should select this guy this guy okay which we should do one by one make it unique select this guy make it unique select this guy and make it unique and now you select the the back side of the cabinet and move it a little bit off to this side okay looks good select this guy here and select these guys perfect do you remember this intense perfect uh, practice makes a man perfect so all right sorry for the bad weather noises that's actually monsoon season so a lot of creepy things going on select the uh, all right we have to we have to make this guy unique as well because all of the other are going same so select this guy and 
bring it to the side so yeah and now we have this guy good well let's okay let's group close and let's delete this guy as well because we don't need that anymore and select this guy and copy it you you know why we are copying it or why we are doing it and let's just to avoid actually a lot of hard work so let's see we can align as well but this I think this is gonna work good for me so yeah our ceiling is gonna be perfect and now let's do one more thing I would like to add a, a small uh, box around the this whole cabinet thing going on just like this dude here you can see a very cool black box going outside so So yeah, I think we have been doing great. So let's create a box like five. Uh, yeah, let's let's create from here to, or maybe we can create rectangle. Then we can do offset. Yeah, I think that is something you should be learning as well. So let's go to rectangle. We should be starting the rectangle from here maybe and then we should bring it to to this guy here, to this corner. We have snapped enable and let's select right click, convert to editable subline. We have this the rectangle selected, select the vertices, select these dudes here and bring it down and select these guys here, bring it up. All right, do the same for the other corner as well. Let's snap, why well, snap is not working. All right, guys, okay. Uh, yeah, let's do the same here. Select these guys and move it to this corner. All right, so the next part is you remember we have to give the distance of five centimeter, 0.5 centimeters, so to maintain the the look you know so I first I will select this guy segment here and I will delete the bottom segment here I have selected this bottom guy here and deleted it then select the vertices again and now I will move 0.5 okay sorry I'm not sure what's going on select the vertices right click move on the x-axis it should be minus 0.5 axis yes select these guys and move it to the 0.5 x axis positive same for this guy i hope you you have an idea where does x goes and where does sorry control z and 0.5 on the y axis all right now i will select this supply here and click on the supply and i will come to the bottom and i will find out the outline and i will give five outline okay it is giving inside why didn't need minus five all right looks good perfect and now let's extrude it and uh, let's extrude it like 60 minus 60 actually should go to the back side let's see from the back side all right so did we mess it up something oh yeah we did actually so we have we should have these bottom boxes should be okay let's let's double check one thing i'm not sure if we no we we are doing it good okay we didn't mess up anything all right we are doing great just 
make it more visible and we, we have to make it actually 45 minus 45 if you remember we made it minus 45 yeah now it is perfectly well aligned and you guys remember the drill let's isolate this guy here and one more thing I'm gonna do which is gonna help us a lot I'm going to apply edit poly modifier and select these vertices these two vertices and press connect this is gonna help us a lot believe me so you do it from the front and from the back as well all right connect all right connect perfect now the next step is I'm going to select this edge double click control double click double click double click all right and now I'm going to chamfer it you guys remember we gave okay uh, try 0.125 maybe this is a little bigger box so but anyhow 0.125 will work for me select this guy here and this guy here and let's see if we press ring does the bottom guys get selected yeah but I don't think if we really need but let's try the chamfer okay that looks good perfect we have all the edges perfectly smooth and all right now let's let's try something uh yeah we will have some models as well but i'm going to delete this guy now now let's see i ha i think we have almost 8.5 or whatever like it is pretty close so even if we need we can move it but i think that is almost okay and i'm going to delete this guy plus i'm going to add a little bit base in the base box you can see this guy here and let's see all right front create box we need the box from all right i think we, sh we should create th this guy here we should move it a little down where we actually want to our ground floor let's see which was like we, we gave the distance of 10 I'm going to move it minus 10 on the y-axis let's sorry on the minus 10 perfect that's where we want okay we create the box now from here to here or maybe to all right we have the box here and press G let's move it to let's make it 40 because our width is 45 let's press left view and let's move it a little bit backside and align it from the back okay yeah we have it here let's keep saving so we don't mess it up if, if 3ds max crashes that happen a lot of time and looks good the last thing which is left that is uh, a plane on the full back side of the this guy here so let's create a plane create a plane from this guy to this guy okay so it will actually cover the empty spaces and everything from the back side so yeah it will look like this just ignore if this guy is messing it up because it is overlapping some of the faces but, but you just have to pretend you don't care okay because we really don't all right I'm pressing save and now again let's select this guy here and press okay one more thing yeah we have to create the gap for this guy for the faucets yeah okay let's do every time we forget let's select edit poly select the edges we actually create a hole uh, create a hole connect one two let's bring them closer okay and let's move them here and select these two again from the top and from the bottom you can see and let's connect 
increase the distance all right perfect press f3 to see the shaded view yeah let's see if we have everything aligned no let's select the vertices these vertices and if we press f you will be able to see now we have it in the middle so i am going to isolate it again face select done, done. press bridge boom we have the hole we'll create faucets and we can even do the same for this guy select isolate isolate now select this guy here group open and select the back side make it unique okay so you don't mess all of the other ones come to the top view and let's select um, these edges press connect one two and create the distance all right press ok move them down a little bit perfect select them again here press connect okay sound good now we are going to isolate the that dude this one select the this face and this face and press bridge all right we have a messed up edge here which is fine but we are professional and we are going to fix it select all these edges press R to scale and scale it on the x-axis so you have the very smooth professional looking edges select these guys here again and X axis scale pressing R select these guys again and Y axis scaling so now we have a perfect looking cube with the excellent smart hole inside it okay that's how professionals work okay perfect so we have these guys here we can maybe adjust a little bit more the holes because it should not be visible move them back side and let's see how it goes yeah look good just we need to I think everything looks good but we we can adjust it later if it's needed and now we select this guy here and we maybe create a box to, to add the some some area and we we bring it down and we snap it to the bottom and we apply edit fully modifier and we delete the top face so we have the place for the faucet very professional place isolate finish and let's let's group everything again and we call it okay all right i think some of the groups are open that's why it's not letting me group yeah this group is open i'll close the group and select this guy group group and call the cabinet wall complete all righty we have the complete cabinet now we are going to make the 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 table these where the dining area actually dining table so yeah let's let's find out something on the google if we can about the dimensions of dining area yeah let me find dining table dimensions okay google is very good he knows and let's see the images if you guys know for uh, the dining table dimensions uh, uh, I think yeah
All right, I think this seems fair enough. Let's go with the 75 uh, centimeter height and the width is uh, 150 and 75. Let's, let's try this. From the top view, we are going to create a box and let's, this is gonna be the top of our table. Let's call it 75 and 150. I think this is a little smaller for for the two chairs we want it we want to make it for the five chairs at least so let's see if we make it to 10 i think this one pretty looks pretty good and let's make this guy for the two all right now let's move it right right click and move it on the y-axis and make it and let's say it it should be 75 on the y-axis pretty good i think let's uh, bring it in the center make a isolate it and in the front view i just copied it a little bit and make it a copy in the bottom part we will adjust a little bit of the width and the dimension just like this and we can adjust the height yeah so let's see the height should be something yeah let's bring it down we decided that it should be 75 yeah here it goes i think let's make it a little bit up and if we need it later then we can adjust but let's see I think dining stools. So this is called let's, let's see one more thing. This guy here, we are actually making this this guy. But the deck actually the animation should be the same as with the cabinet one, but still we need to we need to just double check and verify if we are working fine. And all right, it is 42 inches, which is equal to just two centimeter. Hundred centimeter, we made it 45. Let's make it let's say let's make it 90 for now all right looks good you know this is actually the tall sitting area not exactly so um, from the top view i'm going to actually move it to one side because this side contains tools that side is going to be like for the for the serving area all right and yeah This part looks good to me, but the only thing, just isolate is F4, select the added fully modifier, select the edges, select these guys from the top, and these guys from the from this side, right, and press chamfer, let's make it try, and this time we'll make it 0.25, a little bigger chamfer, okay select this guy ring oh sorry we don't need connect we need chamfer 0.25 okay now this time we have chamfer. i just note it down so you don't forget and looks good next part i'm going to, i was thinking to do is just go a little crazy little creative with this guy here let's do create a box from this corner to this corner here and let's give it two by two two by one actually or even maybe 0.5 all right i'm going to actually create a couple of uh, cool tiles or cool bricks that are gonna help us a lot with the visualization that's gonna be a cool you know trick alrighty 
so let's add really this guy here chamfer I'm gonna change the color so I can visualize it a better way all right chamfer and we make it try make it point one two five this time because this is the smaller one all right select this face here and this face in the bottom with the control now keep the control pressed and click on the edge i have control pressed and i click on the edge so it will select all the edges that are concerned or connected with that face i'll chamfer it again all righty perfect looks good now what i'm going to do i am going to array these i will select this guy here and let's move on the x-axis press snap from this corner to snap to a little bit to closer all right here instance let's make it maybe 100 and we'll see if they are extra we can delete all right yes we have extra let's delete these guys or instead of deleting let's rotate them on the 90 degree and we fill this area here Maybe on the x-axis. Yeah. And we make a couple of more copies. Just like the instance. Y-axis. No. Oh. Instance 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 15. 15. Okay, delete this guy and select these, press Alt to deselect this area and move it to here as an instance. Okay, and let's, let's bring it closer. So we have a very professional looking table that is that will add a lot of details to our design and i'm going to make this guy a little thicker in the box i gave it two let's make it four maybe and yes that is good that is perfect all right let's select this guy and group it we call it table all right that was fast now we are going to model some lights and then we do something else yeah create come in the box top view and let's create a box just like this here and move it upward just to this height and let's create some dimensions let's make it height should be four five maybe and width should also be five maybe or eight five and eight and this should be let's make it 135 top view or maybe maybe even bigger but that that looks good to me let's select this guy and i'm going to copy it okay as a, as a copy because that will be like a glass part and i'm going to decrease the height to two maybe one two or maybe let's see 1.5 1.5 man okay so the next part you guys remember select these edges and these edges and these edges and chamfer it try 0 0.25 0 0.125 all right okay now select this guy here isolate it press f4 to see the edges and edit poly modifier select the face press insert and let's make it insert of one 
maybe 0.5 okay didn't listen to me insert 0.5 okay extrude it minus 2 okay minus 2 boy hold your horse man move it upside all right so yeah that is cool actually and now we have our light not ready but almost ready i'm isolating it again bring this guy up and we need to have some details so you might have seen i do this this practice a lot because it really helps believe me it it gives a little bit of the details which is really good select this guy this guy and maybe this guy this guy this guy and this guy press chamfer try 0.125 only one edge okay select this guy and ring chamfer okay just verify all the corners are chamfered yeah yeah and yeah all right perfect unisolate it select again with this guy this is gonna be the you can say a, a transparent light which is gonna look cool believe me sometimes you just have to believe me let's go with the cylinder from here to here let's come to the front view and bring it down a little bit modifier cylinder radius should be 0.25 and let's make the height to 35 or maybe 200 we'll see how much it is needed actually or oh, no 200 is too much let's make it 80 60 yeah 60 or 70 is enough or even 65 all right now let's apply edit fully modifier here select this face and delete this guy select the border press r and press shift this is very important press shift and now press uh, first you have to press the scale button and then press shift after selecting this guy here and then you scale it outside i have make sure i have uh, shift pressed if you don't press the shift this is what will happen okay don't let it happen press shift and then scale it down uh, outside okay and press w move it upside and or scale again scale inside okay that is well well that is something really cool maybe we can increase uh, the height of this guy here so yeah and also maybe we can increase let's grow the selection and we increase the scale now okay now on the x and y axis only to make it a little bigger okay yeah let's move it to the downside a little bit here all right perfect let's move it to this side copy all right looks cool perfect we have the light so now what we'll do come to the top view we will select all these light elements and bring it into the center almost and we will group it group group call it light all right sounds good now okay what is going on here yeah that's fine all right now we have to bring a couple of uh, models okay one thing i forget to create the ceiling light yeah all right i always do that let's create a cylinder cylinder here and yeah isolate this guy here and let's make the radius to five height to two maybe or one 1.5 will be enough five segment should be one press f4 to see the shaded view and now let's apply the 
Okay, one more thing. Side should be 32, so it looks smooth. Added poly modifier. Select this face. Press insert and press W to move it up or extrude it inside, okay? So, yeah, once I select this, I select insert again just to smooth some edges. So now select this guy. If you are not familiar with the modeling, just I would recommend try another course that is for free for me as well. I mean, I created that course obviously, but that is free, okay? Chamfer, okay, all good. And now from the top view, let's go to create and in the light, and you have to select the corona and corona light, and you have to select the disc. You have to select the create a light here and move it up inside. Okay, don't move here because we don't have it will go inside the mesh. So keep it here where we did the minus extrude. Okay. So it should look like this and we call it we select this guy we call it ceiling light okay so i think let's move it to the top here and let's move it to to this side and make a copy of it as an instance make sure you make the lights as an instance and click again move it to this side an instance and let's line this a little bit and make this guy here all right this looks good and we can use the same lights even here that would help us a lot but yeah i think that is uh, pretty much it for the modeling part in the next section we are going to uh, import some of the models and we will decorate some of the things and then we'll apply the materials so yeah see you so here in this video we'll be adding remaining the models and then in the next section we'll be adding the material so i have added all the models in in one file so if you you will open uh, the folder asset folder I have shared uh, with you guys you will find a folder called all needed models just double click on it and select all and press ok and it will take a couple of seconds to load the models and here we are we have all the uh, needed models later on we can change the colors but right now let's get started and start placing them so press w and press f3 to place this guy here on the shelf maybe like this uh, maybe you can you can rotate it a little bit and press w to move it to this side i think we might have to adjust this uh, top guy here but let's see how it goes yes we might need to adjust this guy here that's group open and select this face here and move it a little bit this side okay select this guy move it here and yeah we have this guy here and the next part is we are going to add some of the let's close this group so we don't misplace anything let's select these cutting boards and a couple of other material and let's move it to the right place all right no not you boy just you guys Press left view to see if we are aligning it correctly. Yes, this is the point. And we can scatter a couple of things like this guy, this and this. And this guy move it here maybe and here. 
we will adjust the materials later on but let's place the the objects first let's move this guy here maybe at this place to just fill the fill the space and let's move it to the back side and let's let's move this guy here this is kind of decorative piece but it will give you a very cool look so now you see that I'm, I'm uh, consecutively you can say switching the views between one and two and three and that is because we have to keep looking that everything is coming in place if something doesn't come then we have to adjust it so yeah we will put these two guys here and let's find out this switch and we can adjust it somewhere here maybe or rotate it to the 90 degree make sure you press a once to angle snap and we move it here just like this and move it to y-axis just like this move it a little bit down all right looks good to me we can change the color uh, later on if it is needed but right now I think we have everything in place let's select the tools and we place it here let me make it a little shorter not much but a little bit and W make it instance one two three okay I think four or too much let's make it three and let's rotate it a little bit to create some randomization you know and rotate this as well all right I think looks good to me now let's save this guy here and next step is we should be applying the materials and finishing the the overall other interiors so let's 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 do create the rectangle part here and let's see I, I, I propose to go with 400 width this should be the 400 and this part should be length should be let's make it 500 for now and see how it looks like okay let's move it here and yeah I think we might have to adjust it a little bit so better we we draw the line according to our geometry so let's start the line from here oh sorry rectangle from here to this corner pretty good sorry this corner and we adjust the this guy here make it 500 centimeters okay cool now move it down to this point bring it here and you guys remember the drill we did earlier let's right click this guy convert to editable subline select the vertices select this this vertex and this vertex and then move it here plus add a little bit more move towards x-axis and mark it 0.5 all right select this guy as well and on the x-axis minus 0.5 this is a little bit gap which we we give necessarily to make it look better next step is I have selected the the vertices and I am here in the refine part uh, sorry select the vertices and here refine click one point here I have disabled the snap right now and somewhere here and next click here so this will be actually the window 
a big window so now I am here in the segments I am selecting this guy delete so technically when you will be making the kitchen you will be following the CAD map which architect provided you but since we are not following that the whole tutorial how to take that and how to uh, to model the architect file since we are just only modeling the kitchen that's why I'm taking only that much part now I'm extruding it 8.25 feet and boom just add the minus sign and let's see yeah I think we have a little bit of the distance let's apply edit poly modifier and select the vertices and move it sorry on the x-axis y-axis sorry and snap it to the bottom all right so from the top I would still say it's like the top vertices and move 0.5 on the y-axis upward this is also needed so we, we get some spacing and some detail that is that puts a very good impression next step I am going to create some windows create a box from here to here maybe to this point and let's make it 5 and let's move it outside here okay isolated it added poly select this guy here do we really need from window from the ceiling I think we can we can create a little bit of more you can say I'm changing the color this is not actually changing the material this is just a color so material will be done later press F4 select all these edges and press connect and move that connect to the top like this all right so we are not going to create a window up to the ceiling create box bridge sorry all right now isolate let's finish the isolate come to the right view select this dude here this guy pink eye add it fully select this guy and move it on the y-axis and snap it here so we have the window here let's create the frame let's select these edges press connect one two three four five okay select the faces all of the faces and press alt to deselect the middle faces you have to be very careful while selecting and deselecting because any additional edge and it is going to mess your geometry so yeah you can see no left no right no top no bottom only front and back side press insert so i am going to insert point two five sorry two let's make it two all right no don't it two okay and then press uh, right now you can see i have uh, done by group and when i click plus icon and make it by polygon and press ok and bridge it let's bridge it and we will have our window ready okay and yeah we have our window ready now let's add the floor and one thing I think uh, I forget to add that was curtain I think we should have the curtain as well I will be adding that into the uh, all map all objects needed in that section but that is something is gonna you can say help you a lot so I think yeah I think we have a lot of stuff uh, ready to be uh, to apply the material just need to add the curtain so we can see how does this looks like okay so a lot of time I personally prefer using cosmos library it is available in the corona 9 but if you don't have that's not an issue if you have the curtain uh, in any anywhere in your 
uh, your lo local library you can just import as we did the rest of the materials but if you have the cosmos library you must know how to use it so i just typed the curtain and i think this guy is good i clicked here on this green button and i imported it and boom our curtain is in the scene so let's go to the top view press f3 rotate the curtain we need it here to this side just scale it a little bit all right perfect we have perfectly still scale curtain and move it to this side all good the next part is we can create a little bit box, little box to make a frame for the curtain so the kind of support which should go all the way to the windows just like this and let's see let's move it up it should be like here very very close to the ceiling not that much just like this bring it down and come to the top view yeah let's move the curtain a little bit to this side and move this guy make it 400 and move it to this side okay next step is isolate this guy here and press F4 click add it fully select this face and extrude it let's say one okay same this guy here select this face extrude one okay now select this face and this face and extrude to maybe two just to make a, an enclosed frame where the curtain will be hanging let's go to the top view and see if the frame is right now it is short let's select this guy here and this guy here and move them inside let's see let's see yes no it's it's good all righty we have almost everything ready now we are going to add the camera and then we will start applying the materials but before we do that let's i think before the camera we can apply the material and then we can see how it goes so i am going to hide this guy here and uh, we have the material here so let me open photoshop so i can copy the color codes I think it's going to take a couple of seconds. All right, we have it here. And we create a new file. So I'm just pasting the image I have here. So I can select the color code. Let's and select on the the average not very dark not very bright area to copy the color code so i think this seems good to me this code i just copied it i am in the material library for for the corona so let's uh, see the corona here let's drag and drop the corona physical material here if you don't see it just click on the on this this icon here and select the render as a corona render okay come to the physical material in the base color i prefer to go with the corona corona color and in the hex color i will apply paste the code which i copied from the photoshop so this is our material nothing else not going to 
checking rest of the settings are default that's why i love corona i am going to select this guy and let's isolate it let's isolate and let's group open the group now we are going to select this guy and this guy this guy this guy this guy this guy all right not not the bottom ones but this guy this guy and this guy and apply this material boom all right the top guy as well we forget that boy apply the material and this back side as well all right good next uh, create another material corona physical material just change the uh, in this section i am going to just change the color from white to uh, dark gray okay now select the relevant material which is gonna be this guy here and these bottom guys all together plus this box here and assign all right this was super easy group close now unisolate and select the table and apply the black material on this guy here all right now what else we have this material here let's apply let's open group open select this guy the the legs and deselect the group otherwise it will apply on the whole group just select the objects and assign the black material and this guy here let's create a material for this guy corona physical material and in the physical material i'm going to change some of the properties let's say base color should be little bright white like this or even we, we can we can assign a light material to this but that would be too bright let's uh, make the refraction 0.5 so it will look a very cool uh, looking kind of glass frosty glass assign this to to this guy and again come to the top view here create light uh, corona corona light select the rectangle and create a light inside this tube light so we can get some illumination going on here all right so group okay let's select this guy group close but you remember we added the light later so light is not part of the group so let's select the light group attach and boom all right and isolate this group and what else is left I think these lights select these guys here and let's uh, apply the default material and reduce some uh, some of the roughness to 0 0.35 0 0.35 make it little material just like this one and we should open the group select this guy do not select the light just the outer frame and close the group all right perfect all right let's see what else is left we are left with only the this tool i have already the black material so you don't have to but we are left with the this, this guy the frame and this guy here so frame for frame i would create uh maybe we can create the same material and apply to to the frame and for this guy as well same white material looks good now we are left with the floor select the floor come to corona material library it has very cool material presets which are built itself and you can use that okay it is gonna take a couple of seconds all right we have the library here we'll find the flooring here 
and in the flooring we can find very suitable materials let's select this guy here and assign material right click on it and there will be an option to assign material to the selected object okay perfect now basically what uh, another important stuff which we are going to do is we are going to tell 3ds max okay this was a box plane or what so we will apply a uvw modifier just in the modifier links select uvw uvw map make sure you type uvw map okay you apply and then you select the box and you click on that here world map size perfect okay now the these walls for the walls for the time being i will apply the default material but later on if we think we can change and same i am going to do for the ceiling as well perfect and yeah i think our scene is pretty much ready let's add the camera i'm in the top view press f3 and i personally prefer to add the camera outside the the scene and then uh, enabling the uh, camera clipping so i will explain in a bit first of all i don't want that much wider field of view that is very necessary so i i personally prefer field of view 25 and then i would like to enable the camera clipping or camera clipping enable show in viewport which means that my camera is outside the house but you can start I, i'm telling camera that okay you are outside the the house the room but you start seeing from here so enable the camera clipping and i will ask it to from the mirror just increase the distance you will slightly see a white line appearing just like that and we leave it inside this here okay now let's press c and see how it looks like this is our view overall which will be we looking but i don't really feel this is very attractive so what i'm going to do i am going to go to the render settings and here i am going to change the output size to custom and let's make it 1800 by 1800 Cl press close and press shift f that will show you the frame actually you your your scene will be looking so this is gonna be our frame uh, render frame at the moment which looks good to me the only thing i feel that my height of my my table is too much so let's select this whole table and let's apply ff 2 by 2 modifier you can select it ffd 2 by 2 okay and come here click on the control points and select the control points and move it down so it will adjust your whole table within few clicks so i'm adjusting it a little bit okay and press shift f to see and i am adjusting the stools slightly a little bit not much just slightly because we have adjusted the table so we need to adjust the stool all right all right so let's save so we don't mess it up and next step is apply the lights yeah so one more thing which i'm realizing that these two dudes are on the in the air yeah because we reduced the size of the table so we need to bring them back all right boys perfect all right so next step is let's press 8 and select this guy here environment map and add corona sakai all right cool and the next step is add corona sun which is also important so just see how much i am zoomed out just do not add sun right in front of your window you have to give a lot of distance so let's see from here add the sun all right you can see the sun give it a little bit height maybe like this and you see how much far how much zoomed in it is and sun so let's create this guy modify here 
and add intensity always i do this always there's no compromise on it intensity 0.25 size 3 or maybe 5 this is very necessary for the soft shadows and then press C again shift F see the frame view and I think we should hit the render button but before we do that I need to uh, to do a couple of settings first of all I need to create the light mix that is necessary to adjust lighting create the light mix and generate and after that, I personally prefer uh, clicking on the render setting and in the performance tab, I just disable fast preview denoiser. Since I have been running a lot of software in the parallel, you can see in the, my in my taskbar, so I would be trying to save uh, before my system crashes. All right, so let's hit the render button here. Boom. This is actually a preview. This is not the final render. We'll go through how we can create the final render, but this guy here, do not press this guy. This is gonna mess up your workspace. But this guy to see actually how your render looks like. And let's maximize this. And boom look at that what we have created it's going to take a couple of seconds to you know uh, to clean up the render but yeah this this really looks dope and here from the corona sky the light mix you can adjust a lot of setting the first thing the very first thing which i personally do i go to the post production settings and i come down in the I click plus and i enable lookup table this is very this immediately adds a very good impact on your whole render just look at that look at that all right since my scene is overall already warm so I am not going to add lookup table right now but but this is very necessary for the interior scenes you can see all right so I'm just zooming it a little bit and this guy this guy is taking too much of the attention this is in the, right in the middle this guy and this guy they are both taking too much attention and I think what is this here This is some UFO. Why this is happening? This should not be there. But okay. One thing I, I would like to do because our black is too much dark. So let's adjust the, the black color here. We, let's click on the color and let's bring it a little up. And a little back side let's see this is for the table looks good table looks really good now and we need to find out the let's stop this guy and I am here on the click on the dropper and click on the cabinet so it will give you the color of the cabinet as well so we should adjust that as well this is too dark let's bring it little up Maybe not that much, but a little bit adjustable. All right. So I think that this background color looks too dark. So maybe we can select a little bit softer version of this color. Let's click this code, copy this code and come press M, the material and change this code from here to the one which we were thinking all right let's hit render again and see how it goes yeah so this seems a little bit better but let's let's check what that black black thing is over there yeah that's something unwanted let's isolate this guy oh my god Oh my god, so now you, you see 
what happens when you you forget to instance we created this guy here and the, this was copy this was instance not copy so we it it actually created over there so first thing we make it unique select this face press f4 select this face this face press bridge it will close the gap and group select the group and close the group press c let's see now shift f our frame is ready and yeah you can you could see that these two guys were taking too much attention so what i'm going to do i am going to select this this and this and make them the same color we have on the cabinets so it doesn't pop too much it doesn't take that much attention and it actually merges with the with the overall scene let's see how it goes yeah here you see looks really good and if we zoom in this area this also looks really good and faucet looks really cool so now from the light mix you can adjust couple of uh, couple not couple of actually a lot of things uh, yeah so for example if we we uh, increase the environment to two you can see our scene is a little more brighter make it three for now i would suggest to go with the two that is fine and these two lights you can see all right let's change the color from here to to make it like look orange good warm actually i mean this is corona sun you can see if we hide the sun no more sun shadows over there you can see here all right okay looks good to me i think this guy is water bottle i think looking good this guy also good and yeah i think this is overall uh looking very cool I would say and this light this light is also looking good you can see all right so what I'm going to do now is I am going to do some final render settings from here I will click on the render settings I'm pretty much happy with the overall look and feel but let's let's try one more thing let's uh, Let's do some Google. Find out that complementary color finder. And let's see this guy here. This website really helped me a lot to find my complementers. And I want to actually see what is the complementary color of the pink kind of shade we applied this guy let's copy this code here maybe we can try a different color and we can see like how does this look in three different shades we can try different shades maybe let's see okay it says paste the color code okay we want complementary color here let's try this guy here and add the code here and another thing i want to try is with kind of olive green color let's see I want to see the olive green look okay and this guy here should be olive green so let's see let's see with the with the complementary color of that or colors are the colors that are totally opposite to each other on on the color wheel so the the complementary of the yellowish or warmish tone is the bluish or cool tone Uh, we, we we might adjust actually the color of uh, this this bluish part but let's let's do one thing let's let's try with the olive green color first and meanwhile we adjust the color complementary color oh my god that looks dope yeah very hot oh my god 
this this looks very cool so meanwhile when it is uh, it is rendered with a couple of passes let's try to fix the blue this has a very you can say bright popping colors let's bring this guy down here and a little bit towards bluish side and not bright just a little dull and down now copy this code here and let's get back we have the code we have the few passes of the screen olive and let's store current view. and let's change the color press m and change this color this guy here to the code which we just copied select here and then render again let's see not very good not very impressive i'm not sure why but this guy is giving me a hard time let's desaturate it a little bit all right let's give another try and let's paste it i think i'm making it too darker be honest let's make it a little lighter and brighter shade let's see how it goes all right i think this looks a little bit better let's try to click on this guy and compare which one do you guys like i personally like this bright green color because yeah it has a different vibe believe me but we can change let's store this this guy here okay. let's compare okay come on here and let's compare this with the both of them this one seems more better being honest this uh, this yellowish shade uh, better than like the this purple one but purple has also its own accent and for me best among all of these is okay this comparison looks good yeah that's impressive maybe we can we can render something like this uh, something like this all right uh, i hope that you have learned a lot from this course this is free there are a lot of more free courses by uh, me. so i would request if you can spend some time check out the courses and hope you will enjoy and now you you see why our point two 0.25 i think a 0.5 centimeter distance was important you can see this is giving a lot of cool look a lot of cool uh, detailing here in the edge side even in this part here you can see uh, a very cool looking detail. so yeah i hope uh, you have learned a lot from this course and i hope you uh, will learn more in coming days one thing i just realized that led is a little bit down from the ceiling so maybe we can fix this guy and then render it so before we render uh just go to the setting and uh in the uh, common just select the size which we have 1800 by 1800 in the scene select the pass limit to 22 and denoising to corona high quality that is necessary thing to do all right now before we hit render button we come to the front view and we fix the lights with the ceiling you know select the lights and move it to the ceiling you know all right yeah now it's good and just click on this render button 
and unfortunately i will not be clicking because uh, in during screen recording my system gets heavy but i will render and i will show you all the three renders how does they look like and see you soon in the next tutorial have a good day bye